Hi everyone. I thought I would show you how I'm going to cut down my notebook to fit my traveler's notebook. This is just, I did start it because I wanted to see, but this is just a composition book. And what you need is the composition book and you need the cutting mat. It helps to have a cutting mat just so you have lines. And I have one of a Carpe Diem's standard traveler notebook size. I love this size. And it's perfect for my traveler's notebook. This is the one I made. And it's perfect for this. Sorry. So, and I'll show you. And there we go. And then it's in there. I love traveler's notebooks because you can hold so many things. So, what you need to do, and I will put the measurements down below as well. So, Let's move this just a bit. There. Now you can see. Eh, maybe not. Sorry. It doesn't want to. That's going to have to do. So, you also need a straight edge. Now, this straight edge is just a piece of plastic that I have. And I've decided to go a little bit further with mine. This is about seven and a half inches. I think says seven there. Nope, it's about five and a half. And I line it up with the line here and the line here. And we, you need some kind of straight edge. This is an X-Acto knife. A box cutter would be better. And I might actually have, my husband might have one, but um, I'll have to ask him later. And all you're going to do is you're just going to take it and run it down. And you're going to do it again. And you can hear it cutting. And then take it off and you've got the cover done. And you've got some pieces done as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see how many pieces it did. There we go. And then you're just going to follow that line again. And it helps to keep your book here. And of course my oven would be done now, but that's okay. I'll get it in a second. And you want to make sure it's right on the edge. And you're going to do it again. And that's really all there is to it. And when you get down, because now I'm down to paper. So we're just going to keep doing it. And that can happen too. And if it does, just line it back up. And keep going. And I'll be back to show the finished product. This is a so I thought I'd come back on and show you. So I've done a little bit right here, and you can see it's not perfect, but it's gonna get you what you want. And you can see that some of them are not fully cut. So what you do is you can just freehand this. Just go down like this and go like that, and then it comes out. And see, some of them will not be there, like all the way cut. So you can just go like this. Because you've, you've already got that line. See, look, you can see that there's a little bit of line. So if you want it to be perfect, then you can. Or if you want it to be more, you can. But see, now... So now I'm going to take my straight edge again. And you don't even have to have this big of a... Or this thick a notebook. You can take pages out too. Which I, I can show you how to do that too. This straight edge kind of like keeps it so you can get more. And you want to press down hard too. You want to press down hard on your paper. See, I'm pressing down pretty hard. I write very hard. So my hand tends to hurt when I'm writing. So, and this does take a little bit longer, but that's okay. Oh, I was hoping I had mail. I'm waiting for some happy mail that I won, which that will be in another video too. I'm trying to do more videos, as you can tell. And these pages that you take out would be great for bookmarks. Make your own bookmarks. And you could even do laminated. I know you might not have a laminator, but... Um, it's still, and see, I don't even need the 
straight edge there now because it's it's you've got a lip here now and and that's when I go and take that out and see I've got all these pages here that aren't coming out so we're just gonna go like this go like that rip that out and go like this and go like that I will so I wanted to show you another trick when you have like this right here you can take a few pages I, I'm going to take two, and you can actually use the folded trick, and it doesn't work as well, but here, it actually works when you've actually got it. Just, whoops, see? You gotta be careful too, but, and see, now I'm not, there we go. Okay, so let's see. Yep, it works when you have it down here. Just fold it. And line it up down here, fold it, and you can rip it. And I am almost done. I've got this much left. Now, for these last pages, I'm going to go back and take my my um, straight edge. And I'm going to line it up here. And I'm going to do it this way. I always have trouble trying to line up a straight edge. But, there we go. And actually, that might have, we're going to have to do the back, but we're going to do like this, and just tear it, and now we can do it this way. And see, you get a little paper curl. <laughs> okay, so, sorry if you can't see this. There. And then we're just going to do that. And then we can just do that. And then this one you've got to press down pretty hard to get through that again. And you're going to want to go a couple times and I just cut my plastic. Oh, no, I got it. Now, to do the other, because... I don't want it this size because it's going to be too big. So now I have to cut it down this on the bottom. So you're going to use the same technique. And I will show you here in a minute. Okay, now we line this up. And we're going to cut the bottom. And all you got to do is just line this up. And keep your notebook there. And that's about... Down here, it's about an eighth and a quarter. So, we're going to do eight and two lines. And do my two lines there, and then just start cutting just like the other. You want to... And I haven't figured out the spine yet, so I'm going to work with that as I go. I think what I'm going to have to do... Let's see is actually just rip it for right now and then I just gotta get the pages done so I will be back the nice thing about doing this side is is you have the lines and you will get this you just you can cut that off later but I'm going at this line and all I'm doing is following my line and some of them I do just rip and then I just keep going but I wanted to show you that little tip. See, I'm taking off the one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five spaces. So, and actually, I think what I'm going to do now, since I do know that, is I'm going to take some scissors and I'm just going to cut because I feel like that's a little bit easier. See? And then we're going to do again. This line. And you don't really need, I've got these big handled scissors, but you don't really need fancy scissors. And then I think I'm going to try doing the last. Okay, now I have to go down because I can't. There we go.
Now for the tricky part. Now we have to figure out. And you can see my line is not straight. Not completely straight, but. Now we're going to figure out together. Oh, actually, look at this. All you have to do is rip it and then cut the little string right there. And there you have it. And you can cut off the little stragglies if you want. Right here. These scissors are not the best. They're not. And there you have it. Now I have a composition notebook that will fit in my traveler's notebook. And as you can see, I already did this one. This one I did the dot. This is lined. And you can put it in. And there you go. And because this is so floppy, it's not really bulking that up. And the nice thing about strings is it does stretch and it's not gonna it's not really gonna stretch it out too far. And the way that I have my traveler's notebook, I have this insert that I'm gonna make a video for to show you how to make that insert. Super easy. And um but now and I still have room. I can go like that. So next I'm gonna do a graph one and put a graph in here. And these are gonna be um I think I'm going to make this a prayer one or something and or make it like a growth book where it has many sections and you can go in and change and fix all this but I don't know it looks pretty straight to me so and you still got still says composition book on it but I'm going to cover this I like this but I'm going to cover this too so and then you've got the lines and this is college ruled you get more lines on the paper with college ruled so there you go and there's another video for you. Have a blessed day.